Joe Perry against Ben Wollaston is the next match in Group 5 of Championship League Snooker. Now, uh, Wollaston's won his first match, 3-1 over Mark Williams. Perry, though, was beaten 3-1 on this table a short while ago by Dave Gilbert. Long way to go in the group, of course, they each play six matches. This is the second of them for both of these two. Perry, though, hoping for better things here in his second match. Ben Wollaston, world number 33 from Leicester. Oh dear, that's a first mistake. A little wince from Wollaston as he goes back to his seat. Well, that's uh, a big surprise. There's a real chance to get going in this first frame. I'm sure Wollaston was as surprised as anybody that Perry missed that black, so... Uh, chance for... Ben here, 30 years of age, former runner-up in the Welsh Open. Was called up late actually into the group, he was supposed to come into Group 7, but we had a few withdrawals and he was delighted to get an earlier call-up. Greg Caniglia, the referee, just measuring the pink spot. Looks like it'll go on its spot. Ben uh, famously married to a referee, Tatiana, who referees on the main tour. Can't referee his matches, quite obviously, or indeed whatever little section of the draw is in until uh, such time as he gets knocked out. They met uh, at a tournament and now have a couple of children together. Looking to get into the pack and just got that double kiss. I have a really different question. I know you've been very much. And that means it's end of break. Totally understand. Obviously, paramount importance from a safety point of view. The consequences are obviously quite severe. But you spoke at the very start, Ruth, about quality.
Well, that uh, could be a big mistake, Ashley, because obviously cue ball in the D, Wollaston can get through to this red close to the right corner pocket. With reds already spread, if he gets on a colour here, it's another chance for the Leicester man. Rather rueful look on Joe Perry's face. Definite chance for Wollaston then to get going again here. Had that good win over Mark Williams. Finished really strongly, actually, Wollaston in that match. Two big breaks in the last two frames. Didn't pop that black too cleanly. And he's not quite ideal in any of the reds. He's going to need the rest for this one. So the Perry in off proved uh, pretty crucial. If the cue ball had stayed near the jaws of that green pocket, Wollaston, I don't think, could have seen the red near the corner, but White in the D gave him a pretty straightforward starter. And he's not too far away now from clinching this opening frame. This red is in fact frame ball. Perry had a good chance early in the frame, he missed the black off the spot. Yeah. 
So the break ends at 61 and Ben Wollaston has dominated this opening frame. A couple of chances on either side at the start, but Wollaston making the most of that opportunity to take a 1-0 lead. Yeah, Perry may be ruining, well, two shots from his point of view. Firstly, the miss black and then the in-off, which, uh, as I say, let Ben Wollaston in. Wollaston had a century, 101 and a 99 against Mark Williams, so he's already scored heavily today. Mark Williams uh, in action on table one against Ricky Walden. Both of these two have already been beaten today. Williams, as we know, by Wollaston, 3-1. Ricky Walden, 3-1 by Martin Gould, although he opened up with a 140 break, so he was playing well, but Gould uh, put together... In the end, three good frames to beat him, 3-1. As you can see, not much in the opening frame there, just seven points, Williams with the slight lead. Greg Coniglio setting them up for frame two. Ben Wollaston then with that 61 break, leading Joe Perry 1-0. All matches best of £500 a frame. Top four go into the playoffs tomorrow night.
Well, it was a chance, not an easy one by any means, but Perry has uh, rather gone for broke there, taking that red on, and sits down with a, a look of concern on his face at what he's left Ben Williston. As I say, Williston scored well against Williams, made a 61 break first frame of this match, and already plenty to go out here with big colours available, reds nicely spread. Definite chance for the Leicester man. The problem here is that it looks like the two reds blocking the path of the black to either corner. This is going to free that black to one corner, but just slightly complicates things. And now he's lost the cue ball really. That's the problem, trying to get out for another colour. He could still take the green to the middle. Pressure on it though, playing for reds, he's got to get this green. And he hasn't done. So it just shows you the slight complication of the two reds blocking that uh, path of the black and uh, he's missed a pressure green. Now, can Perry get going here? He only potted one ball in the first frame. Ricky Walders won the first frame on table one against Mark Williams. Perry currently 22nd in the world rankings. Dropped out the top 16 last year. Of course, he was runner up in the Masters last season to Ronnie O'Sullivan, but missed out on a place there this year.
Charles. Wollaston took on a pressure green to the middle, having lost prime position on a colour. Missed it, and this has been the result. Perry's just got to keep going to win his first frame of the match. It's a player with a lot of experience, been a pro since 1992, 43 years of age. Won his first ranking title three years ago, the Players' Championship in Bangkok, Thailand. Well, he's lost his way, but the frame should be his. He, uh, Wollaston needs three snookers. Seven. Seven. Yeah, good 70 from Joe Perry to win his first frame of this match and level up at one all. As I say, that green that Wollaston took on proved to be crucial. The fact that he missed it gave Perry the opening and he's made the most of it. One apiece. Now then, uh, Ricky Walden's won the first frame against Mark Williams, but the Welshman nicely in here in frame two, already on a break of 46. Williams plays two matches this afternoon. He's up against Martin Gould on uh, table one after this match. Looking good there to level up at one each, which is, of course, what Joe Perry's done here on table two. The match after this one, by the way, Judd Trump back in action against Dave Gilbert. Trump, who played so well in the round-robin phase of group four, but then lost in the playoffs. Good. Ali Carter beats him there. So Joe Perry with a nice 70 break has levelled up at one each. This is frame three. Oh, what a fluke. What a fluke. And not only is he the red gone in, he's got position on the blue. <laughs> well, that could be massive, depending on what he makes from it, of course. Seven. 
Oh, that's nicely back in position now. Just a few years younger than Mark Selby and Tom Ford, his fellow Leicester Cuman. But uh, two players that have looked up to, particularly, of course, Selby, with everything he's achieved. But you might be happy with that one. So in the break, just lost to position there for whatever reason. Just 19 scored. Led off for that for Perry, although of course it did start with a fluke. Williams, by the way, on table one has made a century against Ricky Walden to level up at one each. Century Williams made next door 144. So that's the highest break so far. Walden made a 140, but Williams against Walden has made a 144. That's a great target for the £500 highest break prize. 1 1 on table 1. Meanwhile, Wollaston, who a couple of shots ago was nicely in, now finds himself pretty much snookered on all the reds. He not got there, but he's left the red on. So another chance for Joe Perry then to get going. He made a 70 break in frame two. Wollaston first in in this frame, but didn't make too much from it. Just 19, having fluked to red initially. shot he knew beyond the red to the right corner so took the chance to open the other reds and a definite frame winning chance even though he's only a point in front as I say good chance for Perry here Seven. 
He was supposed to come in Group 6 Thursday, Friday, but there were withdrawals. Barry Hawkins late last night withdrew, not feeling at all well. So Perry, who's a good friend of his actually, stepped into the breach. Already up to 40. If you can just keep things simple here and keep focused, every chance to take the lead in frames. Well, this is the third half century of this match, second in a row for Perry. Made very swiftly. He's 44 in front here. So, red colour red should secure the frame. run into these uh, two reds it's already 51 up with 51 on so this red to make sure and to leave Wollaston needing three snookers without a colour so it's going to be two on to Perry he's made the most of the chance and having made a slow start losing 3-1 to Dave Gilbert where Perry's highest break was only 38 he's uh, really picked up the pace in this match So the break ends at 79, it follows a 70 in the previous frame. Two good frames from Joe Perry to lead this match by two frames to one and to leave himself one frame away from clinching his first point of Group 5 of the Championship League. Yeah, he's looked good in those uh, two frame winning contributions. In the end it was a snooker that he laid and Wollaston failed to escape or he left a red on from the escape that really set up that chance. <coughs> Table 1 Mark Williams really motoring, he's had a one four four total clearance to win the second frame and here he is on another big break. Could be another century in frame 3, Williams who uh, 
beat Mark Selby day one of the Masters, but lost in the quarter-final 6-1 to Karen Wilson. Disappointing performance from the Welshman in that match, but here in this match he's looking really good. It's going to be 2-1 to the Welshman there. Yeah, Mark Williams, uh, of course, bang back in form this season, won the Northern Ireland Open. His first ranking title for getting on for seven years. And uh, number 10 in the world as 2018 gets underway. So Mark Williams, I guess, one of the real favourites in this group. Just waiting for Joe Perry to come back and then we'll pick up with Wollaston needing to find some sort of response because Perry looking confident. He's a breaks of 70 and 79 to lead 2-1. And, uh, of course, one more frame will give him this point. Mark Williams, by the way, is a back-to-back -back centuries, so great stuff from him. Twice world champion, really playing well at the moment. Well, Ben Wollaston dominated the first frame, but he finds himself 2-1 down here to Joe Perry as he gets frame four underway. Well, I wouldn't want to see that red coming up uh, towards the blue, but it's not quite come far enough for Perry to pull it. <coughs> well, Perry feeling confident, had a go at the long red, but he didn't pot it and he's left a red to the right centre. Well, he's played to go into the pack at the angle to do that, but forgot to pot the black. And uh, he's just surveying the damage. Wollaston split. Red's far and wide. I think Perry can clip this one into the green pocket. And then he's away. And he's looked confident in taking a 2-1 lead. He's uh, really upped his performance on the first match with Dave Gilbert. See, it's so often the shot Wollaston played where 
player just takes her off the pot, concentrating on going into balls, and that's what happened. He missed the black. Well, it would help Perry to get the black back on its spot. So that's what he's going to do here, and then obviously help scoring down where all the reds are. This is much better from Perry. Wollaston may be starting to feel the worst after that uh, Miss Black going into the Reds. Left Perry in. A chance to kill off the match now. Well, especially now he's gone into the pack again, so 32. great chance for Perry to kill this off. Third off century in a row for Perry. Not really put a foot wrong in these three frames, but it looks like he's won. Well, he's not on the red that's obscured by the pink, so this has gone slightly wrong. He's not home yet, 45 in front, and it looks like it's just a safety. So that's uh, just gone wrong, just lost position on that red to the corner, so he's going to have to wait. 
and he's annoyed. 52, but not quite there yet. Well, he's got away with that, really, <laughs> to land there from the way he played it. Now, a chance for Wollaston. Perry was sailing towards the winning line, but didn't get over it. Red's awkward on the top cushion, but this match could have been over. Wollaston 45 behind, still 67 on. Oh dear. All started so well for Ben Wollaston, made 61 in the first frame. The green will put him 52 in front with 51 on. <coughs> so it looks like Joe Perry is going to win his first match of this group. Seven. He's played well, he's looked confident. He'll be back uh, against Judd Trump at 7 o'clock UK time this evening. Wollaston plays two matches tonight on table one against Ricky Walden and Dave Gilbert. Mark Williams has beaten Ricky Walden 3-1 on the other table. Well, really good performances from Perry. 